There's never any doubts in my mind because I'm the best in the world, even though a lot of you don't like to hear it. I just, it's facts. I'm the best. You know what I mean? I sometimes, I don't want to believe in myself, but it's the truth. I'm the best. <laughs> Hey guys, back with another Mike Tyson drill for you here today. And I'm gonna break down how Mike Tyson used to use his shifts and switches again, as well as his jab to the body and the things he used to do off his jab to the body. So I'm gonna break down each move. I'm gonna show you the body mechanics and the technique of each move. And then I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and we can do it together. And then at the end of the video, I have Mike Tyson clips of him practicing these moves. So make sure you watch those clips because you want as many visuals as you can when you're practicing a move. It's gonna help you digest it mentally and physically so much better. Okay, so that, that's the key, you know, to repetition. It's just not, it's just not repetitious when you're, when you're practicing it physically, but also mentally and having those repetitions visually. So make sure you do that. And when you get a chance, please comment below, like, share, and subscribe. And when you guys comment, it helps me because it gives me feedback on future videos and stuff. So let's get started with the drill. Let's do this. Before I start today's drill, I just want to say a few things about Mike Tyson and explain to you guys how he was a multi-stance fighter, which means that he was able to switch from orthodox to southpaw and southpaw back to orthodox by using these shifts and switches that we're going to break down here today. And... You know, that made him a very special, unique fighter because, you know, there was a times where Mike was in a heel-toe stance. Like I say, all the other all-time greats used to use that heel-toe stance. And he would be in that sometimes from, a, from an orthodox stance. And then other times he would actually be in that from a southpaw stance. But a lot of times he would be almost in a neutral stance where his, he didn't have his left foot in front of his right or his right in front of his left. So he was almost in, a, almost in a neutral stance. And he was able to make small little shifts and switches to get himself in position and counter from either a southpaw position or a right-handed position. And a lot of the other all-time greats were ne never able to do that. So that's what, made, that's what separated him from a lot of these other all-time great fighters is he had that little special, unique style where he switched from lefty to righty. So we're gonna work on those things here today. I'm gonna to show you how he did a lot of that stuff. So today we're gonna to start off, like I said, we can start off almost in our neutral stance. We can have our hands, elbows in, or our hands are almost like right underneath our eyes or basically almost right on our cheekbones, okay? And like I said, he always did that windshield wiper, you like weave motion. And from that position, he could decide where he, how, what he, how he wanted to even jab. But a lot of times, Mike would come with his, with his uh, orthodox jab, his left hand. So we're going to start the drill off today with a jab to the head. Okay, so when we throw the jab to the head, like I said, we could be throwing that jab off of our windshield wiper movement. And we could take our, throw the jab to the head and take our head offline. Now, Mike used to always throw his jab either to the left or to the right, he was always taking his head off of, off of the center line with his head movement because he was always trying to cut, up, cut that deficit of his height and reach, okay? He would never be just jabbing straight on because those guys all had a height, most of them anyways, if not all of them, had a height and reach advantage on him. So he was always, like he would throw a lot of times, he would time the other guy's jab and he would throw a slip jab. That jab's coming, he would slip it past his shoulder and he'd get his jab in. 
okay, he was able to make up for with his with his height and reach with that. So we're going to start off with a jab to the head, and we're going to step. We're going to step, jab to the head. Then we're going to slip, point the right shoulder to the target, and throw the jab, the under jab. When I throw that jab, I can throw that jab vertical, or I can turn it over, either way. So I'm throwing one jab over, one jab under, and then the next jab to the body. And when I throw the jab to my body, to the body, I'm bowling. I'm bowling and I'm going to the body. Then from there, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a switch. And I'm gonna when I step to the right, it's gonna be a right drop step to the right with my right foot. And when I drop step, I drop step. In other words, my left foot is here. I'm gonna take this foot and I'm gonna drop it. Now it's in line where my left foot is, but my left foot's gonna slide. So one foot drops and the other foot slides. So now what I'm doing is I got outside that guy's left shoulder. If I jab him to the body and I step and I drop over, now this right foot stepped up and over, like basically it's stepping up from here and it's stepping over. So I'm going, I'm going north, east, and this one's going back to the south, see? So now, from this angle, I'm able to throw a right, a right hook to the body, a right hook to the head from a southpaw position, okay? So I'm a southpaw, right there. See, he's able to do that, he's in boom, boom. He throws that shot, okay? Now, from this position, we're gonna shift back to right hand in an orthodox. What we do there is we're gonna shift, when we shift this way, what we do is we're gonna go hook to the body, hook to the head. Now I'm in here. Now, at this, from this position, this foot is gonna to move to the left. So it's gonna to move to the west. This one is gonna move, it's gonna to move to the west too, but it's gonna move south. See what I did right there? So I was here, okay? So I'm here, and my waist, my waist, if I got done throwing the hook, then my waist is already on my left hip. I twist that weight to my left hip, and then I'm going to slide this foot over and this one back. So now this one is in a lead to where his body would be. I'm, a, I'm slightly in an orthodox stance, and I'm throwing a left hook to the body, and I'm cranking it from an angle. Boom. Okay? Then from there, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn southpaw again. We're going to shift more, over even more, to the west. So what's going to happen is my waist and, and my hips, okay, are going to turn. If I brought the hook back, then my waist is going to, when I throw the hook and I bring it back like this, now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is my, my waist is going to turn my waist is going to turn clockwise while my feet shift. In other words, this foot is going to move, move, it's going to move over to the west, so it's going to move southwest. And this one is going to move northwest. See that? So I'm there, I throw it. So we're moving over to the west, we're moving, getting another angle, moving over to the left. Waist is going to turn counterclockwise, counterclockwise, or I'm sorry, clockwise. We're going to turn clockwise with our hips. Hips are going to turn clockwise, okay? And I'm going to go with this foot is going to go southwest. This one's going to go northwest. See what's happening there? Now I'm in the southpaw, and I'm able to throw a right hook to the body. Then we're going, to, we're going to shift and switch again back, to the, back to, the, to the right again. And we're going to turn back to being orthodox. So what we're doing here is my waist is turning counterclockwise this time. Okay? And my foot, this foot, is going to go east, southeast. And this one is going to go northeast. See what I did? I was here, here we go with this foot, it is going south, southeast, this one's going northeast, and the waist is going counterclockwise, my waist was here, my weight was here, and now it's there, see that, 
Now I'm right-handed again. See? So that's so if you look at those switches and shifts, that's what we're doing, okay? So then we're gonna go, we're gonna go hook to the, we're gonna go hook to the body, hook to the head from that position. Hook to the body, hook to the head. And then from there, I'm gonna throw a jab to the head again, jab to the head. We're gonna repeat those jabs again. Jab to the body. Now this time, instead of going to the right, we're gonna go to the left. Shoulder trajectory is gonna change. Left shoulder is going to drop. Right shoulder is going to be higher than the left shoulder. And we're going to step, step. So we're stepping over to the west, okay? We're stepping over to the west. Boom, boom. Stepping over to the left. Left foot, right foot, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm jabbing to the body, and then I'm killing two birds with one stone. Jab to the body. Jab to the body. See that? Hook to the body. Hook to the head. Then from there, we're gonna draw the letter U. Weave underneath, right hand, left hook. So remember, when you make that U, when you're over here and you throw left hook to the body, left hook to the head, and you draw that U, you also, the footwork is you're gonna slide over again to make another little angle. You're gonna, you're gonna weave and you're gonna draw the letter U, and you're gonna step with your right foot and slide your left foot. Then you throw your right hand and your left hook. So remember, left hook to the body, left hook to the head, step, step, right, left, step, right steps first, the left slides, right hand, left hook. One more time. Left hook to the body, left hook to the head, right, left, right hand, left hook. Okay, so I'm going to break it down one more time for you guys. Then we'll go a little quicker, okay? Jab to the head, jab to the head, jab to the body. Drop, step, and switch. Right foot drops over, left foot goes back. Right hook to the body, right hook to the head. Shift and switch. Left foot's in front of the right. Left hook to the body. Shift and switch. Right's in front of the left now from this angle. Right hook to the body. Shift and switch again. Left hook to the body, left hook to the head. Jab to the head, jab to the head, jab to the body. Step, step, hook to the body, hook to the head, weave, draw the letter U, right hand, left hook, repeat, jab to the head, jab to the head, jab to the body, drop, step, and shift, right hook to the body, right hook to the head, shift, left hook to the body, shift, right hook to the body, shift, left hook to the body, left hook to the head, Jab to the head, jab to the head, jab to the body. Slip, hook to the body, hook to the head. Weave, right hook to the head. Okay, so those shifts, just to break those shifts down, and by the way, it's a lot easier if you get a boxing shoe. I need to get, a, I need to get another pair of boxing shoes. These are regular tennis shoes, but when you're shifting, you'll have a, a lot smoother transition with a boxing shoe, okay? So, when I'm in this position, and I throw the right hook to the body, right hook to the head, and I shift here, see what I'm doing there? And I'm right-handed, left's in front of the right, shift, shift, and I can, I can shift like I'm sliding, like I'm skating. See that? See my waist motion? So I'm over here. Now my waist is gonna go clockwise. This foot's gonna go, like I said, this foot, this foot is gonna go north, I mean, I'm sorry, southwest. This one's gonna go northwest. Because we're, both of them are going to the west. We're gonna shift over. Let's see, this one's gonna come in front of this one. The opposite's happening when I go this way. My waist is gonna go counterclockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Like I said, if you have boxing shoes, you could slide even more and get yourself sliding. Like you're skating. Shift, shift to get more of an angle. Shift, more of an angle, see? Shift, 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 shift. And as if you notice, the shoulder trajectory changes as well. So when I'm in this position, now like I said, my, 
my waist is going to go counterclockwise, shoulder trajectory is going to change. This shoulder's higher. I throw a left hook. Now I'm going to drop the shoulder trajectory as well. Shoulder trajectory change. Shoulder trajectory, shoulder trajectory, shoulder trajectory. See that? They all synchronize together, okay? So, that's the breakdown of the drill and the body mechanics of the drill. Okay guys, let's do this together now. So there's another drill for you guys. I'll be coming out with another Mike Tyson drill in my next video, so stay tuned for that. And I got some clips of Mike Tyson doing these moves you guys can watch now. And um, don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.